Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the objection. I want to talk to my dad and I'm going to get back with you. This is a very common objection in the automotive industry. I'm going to show you how to handle it. Check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. So when somebody says, I need to talk to my dad, number one, okay, they don't need to talk to their dad. If they needed to talk to their dad, their dad would be there with them. Does that make sense? If it was so important for their dad to be there with them, they would have had their dad with them. This is a smoke screen. Now, understand, in all my videos, you, you notice I keep saying, that's bull crap. That's not real. That's a smoke screen. Look, maybe somebody wants to talk about something with their dad, but my question is, is the dad making the payment? Is the dad paying for the down payment? Is the dad going to be co-signing on the deal? No, then it's their decision. Does that make sense? So I would say something simple like this. Hey, we already know what your dad's going to say. Write this down, okay? Your dad's going to say, do you love the vehicle? And you already told me that you love the car. You already told me it fits your needs and wants. So at the end of the day, your dad's going to say, look, if it fits your needs and wants and it fits in your budget, pass, go and buy it because it's your vehicle, okay? You're old enough to drive. You need to like your car. You already said you love it, so let's wrap up the deal. You're just going to press through. That's it, guys. Now, you need to understand this, okay? Most salespeople, most, 99%, they end up eating out of the customer's hand and falling for these bullcrap objections. And when they're eating out of their hand, they end up looking like an idiot and losing a sale. And I'm across the street and I take the deal and say, hey, man, you're telling me you were across the street. You told the guy you had to talk to your dad and the guy didn't close you. Are you kidding? That's a joke, man. Come on inside. Let's wrap this up. So at the end of the day, these salespeople end up eating out of the customer's hands and these bullcrap objections that don't even make sense, they end up falling for that, end up letting clients go by across the street at their competitors because they can't overcome simple common sense objections. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Guys, this is simple. Take the word track I just gave you. Write it down. No matter what anybody says to you, I don't care what it is, okay? Know four or five ways to overcome every single objection. I've got 100 objections wrote down. I know five different ways to overcome every single one of them. You guys need to know the same thing in whatever industry you're in. Guys, if you're not making at least a half a million a year in sales, at least, okay? We're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. Customers are dying for great customer service. It's time for you to go be a pro and stop being an amateur. Text me, 918-210-0254, guys. I will help take you to the next level. I will personally coach you. Let's get you to the next level. Let's get you paid. Let's go. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. we got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.